went and you asked if there could be changes. There was four things you went to go ask for changes of. One of them was agriculture and fishing or something. He came back with a big fat no. And that is what sparked the Brexit referendum. If, 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 if he came back from Europe and they said, all right, we're willing to change. But the thing is, when you watch the Brexit movie, that's not what happened. Do you not reckon that? That's not what happened. It's from, like, they were basically, the guy who run the, ran the Leave campaign, he wanted to have all the facts and figures and he wanted to run it himself. It's people who, all the, all the MPs and stuff that all were that part of part of the the campaign that were like okay. we need to get this information to the MPs before like, to uh, of, of, otherwise we're not going to get back in from parliament da, 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 da. Okay. so they pushed it to get because they had the way to get it to them so they pushed the idea towards their parties because they had people from their party pushing forward working the... in the leave campaign thing from the beginning okay okay okay, okay. So, they always just wanted to leave that yeah but Fair it was, enough, it was a coup you need to watch the movie because it, it clears everything up but it's just it's chilling to watch because it's just why why more so than anything and it's just it's more like the lies so many lies mm-hmm. or so many things that like the Leave campaign they, they this is all based on real things because they've done research from the from the guy who actually ran the Leave campaign and the Leave campaign that they basically they hacked into maybe a talk from the Remain campaign okay. from someone who was talking and basically they listened to the whole all that they were talking about so like they were able to hack into maybe the conference call that it was happening it had a private number or blah 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 it was, she was able from the Facebook group able to join the party okay. get the code to join the conference call okay. join the conference call and then listen to the whole of what the Remain people were talking about and they were like well if that's what they're talking about we obviously need to talk make, about, this, talk this, about this. the opposite to what they're talking about to just push our thing I agree what you're saying it's all games man yeah, it's, it's all, all games, games and then they got the Facebook involved as well they, they that's the biggest thing they built a machine bro that would track every single person on Facebook's uh, like what we like what we dislike or what adverts we go to they had targeted ads they created a bot that would build that would make targeted ads for us so they were figuring out what our opinions on Brexit was just by scary. our just but by that's our all with that Cambridge no. Analytica and yeah. that and that goes a lot deeper than just yeah. that and it wouldn't surprise me if the Remain was doing that too yeah. I think what we must be careful for is um, whether the person votes would leave or remain who directed yeah. the movie as well because yeah, I can tell you true. right now everybody's got and, that's just, and this has been the most clear thing for me that's out of true. the whole Brexit referendum is that just how much slinging might achieve nothing yeah that's true and, and don't get me wrong bro I'm a Brexit voter and I think that there was a lot, a lot of stuff I was lied to about but I also think there's I don't like the way that things are handed down in terms yeah. of um, from European democracy to English democracy I'm not that big of a um, somebody who's really tied into the whole freedom of movements because my grandmother and mother in South Africa don't get any freedom of movement so I just view it as preferential treatment for mm. Europeans if I'm quite honest with yeah. you um, and this has caused arguments to some of my Italian mates and that but coming as somebody from the Commonwealth in South Africa and Australia New Zealand and Jamaica and all those people can get freedom of movements as well I'm not actually that attached to the whole argument to mm. be quite blunt with you because it doesn't actually affect me yeah. I've got a British passport and, um, but I do understand that because there was such a split, they should have, they needed to, they basically have to make concessions because it's not the ma- really yeah. the majority if you take into consideration younger people who obviously all don't want to leave and all that. So that, that's the problem is that there was a lot of lies and BS coming from the leave side, which doesn't make my job any easier. Yeah. And also as a, as a Brexit voter, I'm thrown into the same pots as Nigel Farage yeah. and all those guys and then hate crime shots up and all that kind of stuff. And so what happens is, is in, I end up saying, well, these bloody Remainers, these Remainers, they're just attacking the piss, Remainers say, so well, these other guys are lies. And what actually ends up happening is, is people who, on both sides, get very both legitimate reasons for instance, yeah, yeah. vote the way they did, ended up getting misinformed yeah. about what was going on. They lied about all this stuff, then both of them get portrayed in bad lights by other side. Yeah. Either side will say they're a bunch of idiots, then the other side will say they're a bunch of idiots. And actually, at the end of the day, what they should have done is, is say, look, this is something we want to do. We're going to need at least maybe, say, 75% majority if we don't want to cause a split. And also, instead of doing this quick sticks, let's do this over a course of two years of educating people, or not even educating just just the people, but just the politics. Yeah, having a conversation. Because it was was basically like we're having a Brexit vote, there's the vote. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we and now we're having the conversation about it. Two two years (laughs) after the vote. It's like we should, exactly, we should have had these... These two years of talks that people have been having now should have taken before we yeah. voted. Yeah, 100%. Because then, I can tell you right now, people 
whether they believe or remain might have changed sides yeah. and I don't know which would have gone but we at least would have been more informed, more informed on what yeah. we were voting on and, 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 and it shows how little and I don't think personally when, when I watched the thing the next day and you saw they were announcing that the Leavers won uh, Boris Johnson and Grove and all those guys they won they yeah. looked like they were standing at a funeral yeah. they were staring at the floor and I don't think any of the elites actually realise the appetite for leaving the EU and no. I, don't, I, I don't think they realise how much a lot of the older people don't like the immigration which yeah. is obviously a big thing but I also, I also don't think they realise how many of the younger people or, or how many of the younger people also are willing to say well let's try something new I, I, I personally have been in England for 8 years and I feel like I constantly have to remind British people and they can take offences if they want to have to remind them that Britain is great that's why people come here that's why I came here I don't think that we're going to struggle yeah. outside of the EU I think we're going to be fine and, I, and I, like there's no evidence for the sixth strongest economy in the world to kind of do worse in the slowest growing economic block on the planet which is the EU I'm yeah. sorry and um, but I do think that we all could have been a hell of a lot more yeah. better informed going into this no doubt no doubt and people shouldn't have lied to us either because it makes everybody look stupid yeah. including them yeah so this is the thing, and, and this is why it's caused some division, is because yeah. people were fed bullshit, yeah. and then they get, and, then, and, it's, and it's already uh, an, an, an emotive subject, mm. of how much has been attached to it for people. And it's, and it's I, I, so I stayed, after our Brexit thing was announced, I stayed overnight to my friend's house, it was like a Friday, we were just getting on the piss. Uh, they both voted to remain, and my mate Jackie was, um, she was so angry, I could hear her like throwing the um, TV remotes against the wall. <laughs> And all sorts of things were just very awkward. And all of a yeah, sudden, yeah. I was like, Jesus, and people were probably pissed off. And I went to the pub that day with some mates. And um, we were at the bar. I was, at, I was living in Oxford. It was at my regular. Bro, I'll never forget. Uh, it's called the Kylie Retreat in Oxford. As I walk in, same bar stuff there. They looked like somebody had been shot or something. The old press was like, what's wrong? Like, all the Brexit votes. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, no. Good results. And they looked at me like I was evil, bro. Like, I was some kind of evil. And their whole body language changed and everything. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, really? We, 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 good couple of years, you know, each other, and all of a sudden, just because of this one decision I'd made, it had changed how they view me entirely. Yeah. yeah. My, my, my entire person was now tainted because of this one way in which I voted, and I was just like, really, bro? That's, you're going to assume that? And um, mm. for me, I was like, wow, this is going to cause some divisions now, mm. just because of the labels that people were given, and then yeah. whatever. But yeah, Brexit, I think, is something people... I'm slowly getting over, man. And I hope we just bloody crack on with something yeah, now. Yeah, I hope so. And just get it just for the main reason of getting it over and done with, to be quite honest with you, man. I think it's sucking the life out of a lot of we other just, things that need to get spoken about. Figure out a plan, guys, and do it. <laughs> like, that's it that's just figure out a plan and do it. Ever since I've been living in London, I've been amazed at um, how the effects, like the, the, the cuts of the Tories on stuff like w welfare and all that kind of stuff, how much of an effect they actually have, and especially with the knife crime yeah, and 100%. stuff like that. Um, just a lot of the dudes that I speak to in Brixton and that they reckon places have been closed down and shut down in the yeah, last few years. Yeah, they have uh, uh, youth clubs in the last youth 10 clubs. years have been closed yeah. down. And, 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 and these places, I'm not saying they would have definitely have stopped knife crime, but I think they definitely would have given kids something to do instead of joining gangs and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, instead of being on the streets, you could be actually doing street. something in a youth club yeah, with yeah, other people your age. Exactly, you know? even if it's just playing FIFA or something yeah, like that. You know, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's better than out there getting in a position where you're not going to carry a knife because yeah. you're scared of getting stabbed. And yeah. the thing is that all these kinds of things are not going to get any attention paid to them so long as they're saying deal or no deal. Let's go and suck. No, just crack yeah. on. You've got kids getting stabbed in the streets, but you faffing on about Brexit for two years. Yeah. Yeah. For two years, they're like, the EU and, and Brexit haven't just been, and Britain haven't just been able to say, all right, so listen, Europe, we want to carry on business as usual. Do you guys want to do that? And, yeah. and Europe says, all right, yeah, so do we. Let's not put stupid, um, unreasonable tariffs. We can both make a profit. Okay. Yeah. They, they're already doing business. It's not actually, I don't think, that difficult. And I think it's been people... Um, playing bargaining chips against each other trying to get a greater deal yeah, or the 100%. EU also wants to make it very clear that leaving the EU is not an easy task because yeah. yeah. if, if if Britain was able to do it smoothly and yeah. be prosperous all of a sudden Everyone would want everyone's going to say oh, oh it's, okay it's that easy eh? it's that easy because because <laughs> and also England France and Germany is where the money comes from and yeah, it's basically true. that's the money and hence they wanted to pay what 39 billion for no reason basically divorce but because they need their cash yeah. money bro and that's why it's been so up in the air. And yes, we also need their money, no yeah. doubt. But it is a two-way street, man. And but it's sucking the life out of people. But it's also a thing where it's, even if we had that money, it's not going to be distributed the way that people yep. think. Like, Amen, think, bro. <laughs> Amen, dude, yeah. It's, it's not like it's going to help, really, you think? People don't understand there's a, there's a structure within the government and it goes into a pot and then they decide from that pot what needs the money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, right, this will be used for the NHS. Yeah. So I don't know. They, you know? they figure it out. And probably, 
if, you know, and yeah, this is pretty cynical of me, but it's probably just going to go back into the back pockets. In fact, no, it's not. Just recently they, they said on the news that the MPs have all got a pay increase. Yeah. That's where the bloody money's going to go to. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about the fact that zero hour contracts and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, the exactly. MPs need more money. Forget the NHS that haven't had a pay rise in over 10 yeah. years. Nah, they, they, that. They're, they're only saving lives, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're only saving lives. No, don't bugger them. Don't worry about yeah. fire departments or, or getting more police. You know, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. been on the decline forever. Yeah. And, uh, but no, don't worry about that. Let's get it's the much more easier money. to blame drill music oh, yeah. for the cause of knife crime. No, know? no, because no, you know, of, of, of course, but you know what? I also know that um, teenage girls are far more likely to self harm than teenage boys. I also know that they listen to One Direction. Oh. Um, wow. I wonder if their parents <laughs> are taking out their iPads or iPods if they're worried about the emotional stress that kids are going through. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, no doubt music has an effect on culture. Um, music has an effect on culture and all that kind of stuff. But um, and, 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 and I can't 100% say that draw has had no effect on the, on the culture in which he's yeah. stabbing each other. So I can't say it hasn't. But I can definitely tell you that it is not enough to be bloody mentioned by politicians, As considering okay. that that's, they're probably just trying to cover up their own mistakes yeah. by saying, let's blame it on the rappers because we closed down the youth centers. Yeah, it's just like, come on, man. It's like music is an expression. Mm. <laughs> they're, mm. And they're more so, oh. if anything, they're, they're expressing their surroundings mm. like what they're going getting through getting it off their chest so if anything this should be a an eye opening to you mm. like this is what's going on on your streets let like. the politicians <laughs> listen to what's going on in their constituency yeah instead you know? of saying no they're the cause of the problem it's like yeah, no these yeah, are yeah. your constituents these people are now having to make songs about whatever the hell I've not listened to much drum music I'm guessing it's probably similar to Trap somebody will probably yeah, correct me on that kind of but like it's a, it's a similar kind of vibe where um, it's like no these people are your voters yeah. if they're in a position where this is what they're doing you need to do something about it it's not their so, fault you are the MP you're the yeah. one elected to do something and so it's a joke bro it's just yeah. politicians covering up for their own bloody bug like, I think someone said I can't remember who said it recently but it's kind of funny that the people that we elect to do the things that we want to do, like kind of run the country, they don't actually run the country. If we want to do thi- if we want things to happen for us in our lives, we actually have to do it ourselves. Mm, 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 they're mm, not going to do it. For stop us. relying on the dudes who are going to yeah. let us down. Dude. Yeah, and it's sad but true, man. And that's and that's a big. Um, and this isn't that old of thinking. That that goes back to the arguments of whether you want big governments or small governments. Yeah. And one of the best arguments for small government that I've heard is that a government's I can't remember who said it, bro, but he said um, a government shouldn't do stuff for people that they can do for themselves. Because then they, it's, it's like you don't actually want to be too dependent on somebody. You know what I mean? You want to actually be a community that's self-sustaining. You don't want to have to rely yeah. on, on these people that are going to come through. And this is what you see happen a lot of the times in the Middle East and stuff like that. As soon as there's been like bombing by the good guys, they've gone and bombed the whole of this country and bombed, killed people that done nothing to them. What happens is usually a lot of the terrorist organizations or what they start off doing is that they will do the municipal services and they say, listen, we can come get some clean water for you guys. We'll take away your rubbish. And they do that because then all of a sudden, these people are now not only dependent on these guys to a certain degree, but they, they, they are in their good books. Yeah. And all of a sudden, these are the dudes who are helping us, not um, religious zealots out to destroy the world. This is the dude who's helping, helping me fix my community. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, yeah. And, and, and that they can pick it up. And this is where the government's... Is, is, is being daft is that if they don't do this other people are going to do it for themselves and whatever party is in power now is probably not going to garner as many votes as the other guys who say listen we can actually help you make sure your streets are getting run correctly which which Labour will come through and do everything that happened with the DUP and the magic money tree and all that kind of jazz shows that especially with, with um, younger people coming up and with the support Jeremy Corbyn whether you like him or not the support he was able to drum up um, shows that the Tories have gotten complacent, the other dudes are hungry, and if and if these guys want to carry on thinking, oh, they'll just keep on voting for us. Ah, oh, man. No, we won't. Ain't gonna, especially, poor, poor Theresa May was thrown into a shitstorm, yeah. and she's had to deal with a lot of crazy stuff, And um, but even with that, it's kind of like, look, dudes, definitely not strong and stable. You know what I mean? There was a, I was, I was listening to a comedy chat, I think it was The Last Leg, I think it is, called, it's Common Boy, it's called, but, they were saying how when Theresa May became Prime Minister, she, it was only because someone and people in her party voted for her. Mm-hmm. Then when we actually had a national uh, an election for her, like she got the lowest approval rating because she opened her mouth. Hey, <laughs> it's like maybe you're not a good Prime Minister. Maybe if she just, like if she didn't speak, yep. 
like Pete and just like done it with her eyes, you know? Oh, dude. <laughs> Not only that, you know what I think really should happen, bro, is um, David Cameron should.